one that sometimes, even if you're looking to get angry, then you find something to get angry about. What about it? I'll tell you what. If there are two guys in the world just like you, there wouldn't be. They would have killed each other. You'll kill someone if they have a bigger beard than you. You'll kill the one eating a can of planters because you have hazelnut colored eyes. You just look for fights like that. Your head is so full of fights as a gym is full of players. You beat up a poor and crippled man who had the plague and coughed and woke up a dog who was sleeping in the sun. Didn't you argue with a blind kid about wearing a swimsuit during winter and another who tied his new kicks with old laces? And you're the one who wants to warn me about a fight? Haha, <laughs> funny, funny too. I'm glad I have you around to make me laugh. If I were in the habit of fighting as much as you, Obama would have my head for now for how, for how high my health insurance and health care would be. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny joke. Oh crap, here comes those freaks, those dang Capulets. Who gives a care? They're starting to type bulbs. Okay, follow me closely. If I go and talk to them, what's up? Isn't it this a nice day? Hey, I gotta go talk to those guys. You want one word with us? Make it a word and a blow. Give me a reason and I will. Do I have to give you a reason? Oh, fine. Just shut the front door anyways, Mercutio. <laughs> Don't you hang out with, the, with Romeo if you even have any friends? Hang out? Who do you think we are? Musicians in a band? If that were true, all we would do is make noise. Here we are in public. Don't ask. Don't make a scene. Argue rationally or just go inside where nobody can see us. Out here, everyone can see us. Why did God give us eyes if he didn't want us to see? Let them watch. I won't do anything to please anybody. Whatever. Here comes the guy that, that I'm here for. He's not the one you're looking for. If he follows you when you walk to a field, he's your guy. But he definitely isn't your guy. Romeo, there's only one thing I can call you a freaking a freak. You're a villain. Your words... Sorry. Okay, Tybalt, I think you should not fight because I have a feeling that tells me that I should not be in that rage with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll excuse the insult. I'm not a villain, villain so I guess that's it. We'll see you later. You obviously don't know who I am. Your words have done too much harm to be left excused. Now draw your sword and fight me like a man, unless you have puny little wind. I disagree entirely. You may, you have no clue why we should be nice. My dear Capula, whose name I will like as much as my own, you have to believe me. What do you want from me? You cat, I will kill you once out of your nine lives, and if you're good and nice and change your attitude after that, I won't have to take the other eight out of you. Hurry up, or else I'll hit you in the face right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
What? What are you hurt? <laughs> I just got freaking stabbed! <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, it's getting the blood balloon. Where's my page? Go boy, give me a doctor. <laughs> oh come on, don't let be a little girl about it. It won't be that bad. <laughs> I just got freaking stabbed! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 